Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In those days when when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and having nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. And his disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place. Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? And they replied, Seven. He ordered the crowds to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. And he said the blessing over, the, over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets, and there were about 4,000 people. <clears throat> he dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dethmanatha. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as we uh, enter into this uh, Gospel of uh, St. Mark and this moment of Jesus with us, uh, we hear him say first that his heart is filled with, with pity for us. In other words, his heart is going out to us in love. And that's, that's where we meet him. We meet him with his heart open to us. Uh, and then as he looks into our heart, he sees that uh, there is a hunger there that uh, is calling to be satisfied. Uh, and I think as we know, the, the world offers all kinds of stuff, but none of it seems to satisfy. Uh, and he himself uh, is, uh, I think, uh, very much wanting to touch us with his love such that we are satisfied, that we receive what we need, that the Lord gives us the gift, the grace, the, the uh, blessing that we need. And so this moment of the feeding of the 4,000 with the seven loaves and the, the few fish um, really is almost a symbolic statement of our day today, uh, as we enter into called and gifted. Uh, and I would wonder, you know, what does the Lord have in store for us today? What gift or charism is he going to reveal today in our lives? And how will that satisfy us? How will that fill us? And how will it then touch those around us? He said the blessing over them and ordered all that was there to be distributed. They ate and were satisfied. Let's take that to heart as we enter into this Eucharist and as we receive his body and blood in Holy Communion, may it be a time in which our hearts are open to Him and enabling Him to touch us and bless us 
and grace us and satisfy us with his body and his blood.